Let's go indeed. All right, so we're playing some standard today. We have um, we have SCG Wusta this weekend and new standard week one. I'm excited. I'm excited. You should be too. This standard format's going pretty wild already. We played a lot of standard so far on stream. A lot of it was just kind of like scratching the surface though. So now the deck list is starting to come out and um, things are starting to establish a little bit. Um, apparently this card's good. A lot of talk around this card. Flood of Tears. Is that Narset in the picture? Man, I hate Narset. Narset used to be so innocuous, you know? Just this bad blue-white planeswalker no one cared about. And now Narset's like the scourge of the world. But, um, so, this is Will Pilliam's deck. Will was a SCG grinder. Good dude. And, uh, I stole it. Because this deck's been floating around and I wanted to try it. Oh, it's, it's Mew Yanling? Oh, okay. She's less exciting. But... So, um, this is, uh, now obviously I think if you've been playing Standard literally at all in uh, the last week, you've realized that Risen Reef is pretty damn good, and, uh, this card's wild. So, Risen Reef's been played in Elemental decks, in straight Simic decks, it's a really good ramp value card, um, lower floor than Rogue Refiner, but much higher ceiling, and Risen Reef goes right along with Omnath, and Nyssa, Cavalier of Thorns, Leafkin, Druid, the whole package. And, um, but yeah, apparently this card is good. So Flood of Tears, return all non-land permanents to their owner's hand. If you return four or more non-token permanents you control, put a permanent onto the battlefield. So bounce everything, put your Nyssa back in play. And we can sort of, uh, upheaval, uh, Psychotog, I know I'm so old. Raise your hand in chat if you would get that reference. Someone Captain America me, please. Um... Where you can, say you have 10 mana, you can Flood of Tears, Floating Mana. Sorry, you're not going to float, I guess, but you can Flood of Tears, bounce it, replay your Nyssa, and then play something else, then play something else, and be way ahead on the board. So, pretty cool. Uh, one Omniscience as a busted card to put into play off of your Flood of Tears. Also, honestly, kind of castable with Nyssa. It's a little weird because, like, there's nothing really big to cast with Omniscience, except for Flood, I suppose, because your biggest card, Hydra Grace, is an X spell. But, um, seems cool. Seems cool. So, Will's been doing well with this list. Cyborg's got, uh, some Mono Red Hate. Uh, some Lamp, some War Bosses. Some Chandra Awakened Infernos. And, um, we're just try it out. And, uh, see how it goes. So, just jamming some games with, uh, Will Pulliam's Teamer, Teamer, Teamer Flood Deck. I know, so old. So old. Mr. Bravado, that's one year. One year resub, that's awesome, welcome back. Flood plus Omniscience plus Omnath is infinite damage if you have a few more non-lands. Why, uh, how? How do you keep returning the Omnath? Oh, you mean the, the other guy? Uh, we're playing the Leafkin Druids. It's, it's an elemental, so it synergizes with the other card. Alright, Mana and Flood of Tears. Sweet, let's go. Do the Risen Reefs, deck, do the Risen Reefs decks roll over to red? Uh, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out, I guess. And Tamiya, got it. Well, we have Mana. Yes, we do. We have mana. How about you? We can cast turn three Flood of Tears. That's not very good. Not very good. Alright, let's draw Hydra Crisis. Can you do that? Huh? Hydra Crisis, anyone? Narset. Well, there goes Hydroid Crisis. The old Narset. Raise your hand if you're tired of Narset. Dig through time plus Lee of Old in standard. We're digging through time. Burner! Come on. 
Kaya's Wrath. God damn it. Um, well, that card is really good against all of these creature decks. So... Matthias! The whole skill thing is totally wrong. These cards are plenty skill intensive to play. They're just obnoxious also. Alright, so, I mean, they have Kaya's Wrath. We can't really do much, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. And we can uh, attack this Narset. Don't really want to play Risen Reef into a, into a Wrath, even though follow up yet. Let's just chill, I guess. Rebuild. Risen Reef. Putting lands into play all day. I think this revealed card thing could be in a better spot, personally. This card's not looking so good at the moment. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to bounce their Narset back to their hand. You know? That doesn't seem very good. Temple of Mystery. That is not a... I mean, Krasis isn't even good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Passive and uptick switched. I can, I can buy that. I can buy that. I think Voracious Hydra is very good. We'll be playing that at some point. I mean, this is, a, this is just embarrassing. We're just getting destroyed. That's a good draw. It's pretty good. It's not amazing. Yeah, that's, that's my land. My land's dead. Not a very endearing first game here. Uh, we're kind of getting rocked. Let's slow this down. Let's slow this down. Old to ferry. We Old need to, to ferry. Yeah, I think that um, I think that uh, Voracious Hydra is a very, very good magic card. Hmm, the land. All right. Well. The land yes, we're us. saying go. <laughs> think we're dead. Like it's so annoying that like Hydra Crisis would be such such a good draw, you know? They just have his Narset just sitting in play. The B and R already happened. Ridge from below, banned. Sorry, I'm late. They didn't ban Manamorphos though, which I'm pretty sad about. I think they should have banned Manamorphos. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Right, let's just go to the next game here. I'm not really having fun. <laughs> um, a lot of our cards just don't do anything here. So yeah, uh, first game with Flood of Tears did not seem very good. Uh, it just didn't actually just doesn't actually do anything against them. So, we're going to cut the entire Flood of Tears package, and we're going to cut some mana creatures also. We're going to add in a Destroke, and a Negate, and a Fry, and some more bosses, and some Chandras, and we're going to cut probably Paradise Druid is our worst mana creature. Um, and we're going to go from here. Works for me. Real talk on un unbanned Stoneforge when? They could do it. Honestly, with the new Mother of Runes, Stoneforge is pretty good. Um, I think Mother of Runes, Stoneforge, Mystic would probably be a pretty pretty good start to a lot of decks. They could unban it. I don't know. It's a little hom 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 homogenizing. I can't speak. Can't speak. My words just don't come out of my mouth don't tell because it hurts oh don't speak words don't come out of my mouth 
My life is really weird. I sing stupid songs on the internet. Stupid songs. Sideboarding. Sideboarding. Stop taking so long. It's taking so long. Jeez. Jeez. Like my song? Like my song? Anyone? No? Alright. This hand is great. Keep. Uh, less creatures. More planeswalkers. That is good for us. Less uh, vulnerability to a uh, Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, sorry everyone. Alright, um... Turn to your Risen Reef. Gas. Yeah, I'll put that in play. This card is really good. The rest. That's fun. Would you believe at a time in my life I didn't like singing? I guess I wasn't actually really singing, but did not like singing in front of people. And now look at me. And this is good. Um we're going to attack. Do you play this land or else? Um, does it allow us to cast Nissa next turn? Nissa and Chandra? Play land or else. We have two, three, four, five. It does allow us to play Chandra next turn. Alright, we're playing it. Ban all one drops. I love one drops. That would make me so sad. That'd be the worst kind of magic. Looks like they're thinking about killing my Leafkin Druid. And they really have a tank here. They have a Tyrant Scorn, and they don't know, they don't know what they want to kill. Or a cast down, I guess. What do you want to kill? Let's flip a coin. Roll a die. Or do nothing. Alright, well, we're going to try and cast Nissa and Chandra this turn. Because we can also just, just play Creases, but we need a bit next turn. I guess they have a Counterspell. It's bad. I'm not going to have any Counterspells. Who plays Counterspells? Counterspells, counterspells are lame. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I almost don't want to animate a land. Um, I kind of want to just plus on no targets. I, sh I was stupid. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. I should cast a Chandra and I should kill in response. I can help you no longer. Wait, why did? Why couldn't I respond to that? The land shall conquer you. I could just I could just float a mana response. Why couldn't I respond to that? Not being able to respond to D-Spark is a known bug? What the hell? <laughs> that pisses- that, that, that just lost me the game. That is really, really frustrating. That is so stupid. I guess you just can't respond to, to float map. Oh, that's so stupid. I mean, now we're trying to get crushed. I mean, like that. We, we have a Chandra in play right now. That's so frustrating. You need to have a stop if you want to float map. Alright. I mean, that's really stupid. I can't. How do I add a stop when they're casting D Spark? I don't know they're going to cast D Spark. I mean, I could have just, like, done it preemptively and not plus the Nissa first, but. That's so stupid. Can't even draw a land. Yeah, I, I guess that's fine. It, it makes sense. 
Obviously, if you just respond, it, it makes sense, but just like maybe with Nissa specifically, like if if they go to kill a Nissa specifically, it should float mana. Like the game needs to be a little needs to be a little smarter, you know. Sort of like with War Boss and, and the 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 beginning combat stop, you know. Like War Boss should be programmed to where it automatically adds a stop to the main phase, so you can kill it before it goes to combat. And if you someone's trying to kill a Nissa. You should automatically have a stop so you can float mana, you know. So that, that that's just, it's. I get it. It makes sense why I can't float mana because otherwise you could float mana every single time. But specific cards that are commonly played should be should be made in that. God damn it! Made in that manner. Yeah. Great start. Wonderful. Fantastic. So annoying. Uh. My mind needs a rest. Yeah, I mean, we probably would have won this game easily with that Chandra in play. They'd, they'd have two or three emblems already. Arena is definitely better than Magic Online. It's just little things like that. You know, the 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 cost for the smoothness is occasionally having things like that happen, and I think it's on the programmers to try and find as many spots as they can to smooth that out. Can't be all right. So, hurry! I mean, we can't beat this as Kanta, so. Only time will tell. Let's start, I guess. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. No more D sparks, please. I mean, people people like saying in chat like they should they should make graphical updates and and fun things. They should just have, um, just fix the bugs. I'm sure those are different departments. You know, like people designing features aren't people who are squashing bugs. All right, well they just found Kamehameha Dread Horde, so we're just dead now. I guess they can't gain life, but... Man. It's still frustrating, though, obviously. <sighs> In the year 3000... Yeah, I mean, they can, get, they can get, like, the fairy, they can talk, they can get my Tamiyo, they can... They can uh, get back these far. They can do it. I'm just gonna see. They can just do whatever they want. We just lost. Whatever. Yeah, you win. You win, opponent. You win. Should have had. Should have had turn four, Nissa and Chandra, but instead we lost. We got a pack though. Who wants to open a pack? Who wants to open a pack? I want to remind everyone to check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one source for all your game shopping needs. My articles, video Monday, article Friday, video on Monday is all about Gate Shift. Powerful new Scape Shift combo deck. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code JIM5 for 5% 5 off your order. In the year 3000. Scheming Symmetry. Will I be at Gen Con? I don't even know when Gen Con is, so probably not. No. Just spent one thousand dollars on Commander decks. FML. My mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, somebody's grounded. Fine.
in the year 3000. Big dinner for Yeah, Gen Con's really cool, but it's not really an event to like, if BCW like wanted to sponsor me to go and like in stuff, maybe I would consider it, but. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be in Worcester. I've been to Gen Con for an Invitational before. Let me just land her off and scry here. We're not really ramping anything. I want to draw a spell next turn. At least he didn't buy the Hogak deck. Yep. Yep. Nope. I officially adopt that kid. What? Temple of any Stomping Ground Shock, huh? I'm just gonna keep playing stuff, I guess. Ban list! Bridge from below is gone. Risen Reef is really good. We're drawing all ends. Come on, knock on my door. Right, a big fat one to the top. It's like pretty good. All right, sure. It's kind of hard to say no to that. And we'll keep this land in our hand. No, we just ride and run. Oh my God, the combo! They have the combo. Yeah, it's really good. It is really, really good. Mm. All right, guess we get to kill Chandra, and this puts a counter on an elemental. So we're dealing three, and then one. If I kill this. I could still kill the Chandra. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the Risen Reef. Aced it. Flubber. Alright, I mean, they have five cards in hand and we have zero, but we have some things in play. Nothing really impressive in play, but we have things in play. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. I mean, I guess we're making Omnath bigger. I mean, what's up, App? How's it going, my friends? How's it going, everyone? Good morning, Eddie. Welcome, my friends. If you're sitting and welcome to the stream, how's it going? Playing some standard. This is Will Pulliam's. Teamer Flood deck. Uh, we are 0 and 1. We got shellacked by, we got shellacked by Esper Control and uh, and Arena gave us the old uh, slip up a little bit. Yeah, this isn't going very well. Um, not going very well at all. We seem to be dead. I guess if we draw a flood, it's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Flood. Not mana flood, like flood of recollection. That's not very good. We are unbelievably dead. Alright. So, team or elementals? What do we even want? 
Because you want some removal spells. Um, if shock, they're going to kill some things. And cut like a Tamio, a Cavalier, and the Omniscience. New sub, old regime. Oh my god, that is so loud. Why was that so loud? Who designs these things? Let's try this, I guess. I don't think I want the uh, the memory lapse time ebb card. Full house. I was teaching John. Uh, me and John came home from Foxwoods yesterday on the ferry, and I was teaching him how to, how to play poker. And then the second hand, we played five card draw. My first hand against him, I had a full house. I had two pair, drew one card, and drew the six for the full house. Probably gave him an unrealistic ex expectation as to uh, what poker is actually like. Happy Rip Hogok Day and happy 17 months at Jim Day Abyssum TG. Thanks for the fun. Minus the Karn. Thanks for resub, my friend. Welcome back. A new sub is. Uh, new sub is Russell from PA, playing since M19. Favorite card, Young Pyromancer. Sweet. What's up, Russell? Thanks for subbing. Uh, yeah. Poker's not gambling. Poker is a skill game. Alright, well, I will see your, reason, your Risen Reef. Or the Risen Reef. Yes, please. Thank you. Would have liked a regular land drop there, but... Oh, no, nope, that's dead. Okay. You draw a land here, we get the Cavalier, it's pretty good, so. Land. Thank you. Alright, Cavalier of Thorns. I'll take Temple of Mystery. Scry, bottom. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, I should have. Sure. So I, I should have just not put the land in play with the with the uh, Risen Reef. And uh, and just played it naturally. So they, they would know that I was mana screwed. That's fair. Alright, well, they have Jade Light Ranger and Wildworth Walker. And we have not much. It's Cavalier of Thorns. We have Flood of Tears, which doesn't really seem like it does much. Uh... Magic with the host, sweet. I mean, I guess I coil their Risen Reef. Like, uh, they have a Crisis on top. Like, this just seems bad. Seven, they can do it. They can make it a 5-5. Five, five. Um, Doesn't seem like there's anything, anything worth killing. <sighs> not good, not good. So now they have a 6 6 crisis. We have an Omnath. 
for two points of damage. That doesn't seem very good. Uh, we could echo off Risen Reef. Or we can uh, we could team up with the Lava Coil and kill the Wild Growth Walker. I guess we can kill the, we can kill the Krasis. Yeah, let's actually kill the Krasis. Oh, I just three, you're right. I'm not counting the Cavalier. It's also good with our Flood, because we're not going to bounce the, the Krasis, which is good, I guess. Alright, I mean... I guess we're casting this next turn? Tap. I will protect the virtue of this world. Usually you would leave your forest on top for double mana, but Be wary of the land I guess Vlad's good against Nissa, right? That's pretty annoying. One, two, three, four. Jesus. Card good. I haven't actually put up this card yet. People are saying it's good. It does not seem very good. <laughs> like, I don't, how do I even cast this card here? It doesn't even do anything. They just replay their entire hand in one turn. Um, I mean, River's Rebuke is also bad. Because they can just replay their entire hand in one turn. Like, we're not getting anywhere. You know, like, we gotta make some sort of forward progress. Alright, that's cool. So we'll just deal three to Nissa, I guess. Because we don't want it to ultimate. Alright, we'll deal two to Nissa. Not underestimate my fortitude. I don't think we're flooding this turn. And maybe if they, if that lives, but. So, like, we're gonna bounce their lands and stuff, but, like, it doesn't really do much. Alright, I mean... Probably need to, uh... Oh, it's non-land? It... Yeah. This is terrible. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, I guess we can, like, replay the, uh... Cavalier Crisis. So we're gonna bat- you were just dead. Alright. Stinky so far. Oh, and two. I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad we're playing with this card, because I, I've been hearing rumors about this card being good. So it's good to test those rumors and test those theories. But, uh... So far... I am confused. I mean, Will's obviously a good player and a good deck builder, so... I assume that we're kind of missing something, or things haven't been going our way yet, but... 
I assume our opponent is uh, good. I can't say the name, but I assume so. Firebrand. I have not played Salt Elementals. Nope. Alright, how about an 03? Oof. Play the 03, it could die. You play Paradise Druid, dies to Chain Whirler. This seems tough. We gotta draw a land next turn, basically. I mean, we have a higher chance of. Like, if we draw a land next turn, if, if we play Paradise Druid, um, we can cast Omnath, but if we play this and they strike it, we're in big trouble. And then we're playing Druid into a possible Chain Whirler. I'm gonna play Druid. Let's draw a land. Land, 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 land. Probably need a land to have a chance to win this game. Oh yeah, give me the land. Please, please, please. We're dead. Alright, I mean, we're just dead. If they, have, if they have Chain Roller, we can't win. Given that if they have Chain Roller, we probably can't win anyway, I'm just gonna play this Paradise Druid. So in the chase, chance they don't have Chain Whirler, we at least have the best chance to win. But I will concede immediately to a Chain Whirler. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. Alright, so now we can play Omnath, but it's not great. Just deals one. We probably need to target the Firebrand because if they shock in response, we can't even kill this. This is gross. What color do I dislike the most? I don't know. I feel like white is the color that has like the least identity. But check for priority we want to going to main phase two. Yeah, maybe. But all right. Well, I mean, they didn't kill us in attack, so I'm going to decline. I'm going to draw it. Which doesn't really matter. Either way. I guess I'm going to close out that. Make on that bigger? Alright. What is their hand? They just like don't have anything. Like they obviously just drew that or they killed it would have killed Omnath, so. Snap blocking with Omnath here, nope. Frenzy, sure. This is really bad for us. We have no way to deal with the Frenzy. And they have double Steamkin. So we're probably dead. You're a wizard, Harry. That sucks. I don't want to go off next turn. Yeah, I mean, we're just playing uh, the old Risen Reef. So I'll make the Reef into a 2-2, two -two, so it dies to less things. 4-4 four -four is already pretty pretty good surviving. And I don't mind trading Omnath with one of these Steamkins anyway, so... Do good here. How many spells did they cast in this turn, folks? That's two so far. We get old Brick City here. Runner, runner, land. Alright. Not a land, but now we can cast our Cavalier. We cast Cavalier over Nyssa, right? Cavalier is just huge. Then we can get a land and attack with our Omnath, probably. 
We also have a chance to get two lands into play, which is pretty good too. Yeah, we'll just cast Cavalier. Just like drawn it, but put a counter on me. I don't want Omnath to die because I have a second one. Um, but I also want to attack for the most amount, and then making get three three reavers really matter. Yeah, sure. All right, just attack. Because they brick for like another turn, we can maybe win this game. That's cool. It's cool. Let's go with your opponent bricks over and over and over again. Wow. Good turn, opponent. It was not a good turn. They didn't do anything. Um, Alright. What are we doing? We have a crisis in the bin. We have a flood of tears too. Is flood of tears good here? Kinda, not really. Like it's whatever. Um, I mean, I want to cast second like Omnath, and we already have Omnath in play. We have pretty good attack here too. Probably just a star with an attack and just see what they do. Probably playing like Nissa and like a Druid, but. Let's start here. I guess I could have gotten a trigger maybe and made this bigger, but and our opponent tosses the game. Okay, sure. Is uh, you're just dead. I don't know what to tell you. Upstairs. So he won that game. I agree. Holy crap, dude. Oh, come on. Just, just kill them, please. Thank you. Sometimes your opponent just literally doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, I imagine we're going to want Aether Gust and Cerulean Drake and the Lava Coils. And we're going to cut the Paradise Druids because they're terrible against Chain Whirler. And we're going to cut... I don't think Tamiyo or Omniscience are very good. I don't think Flood's very good either, honestly. <laughs> um, what's up, single? Worried about spending wild cards on useless decks. Um, honestly, single, I'm not sure. We're still really early in the format. I would wait till the results of Worcester come in this weekend before you have a definitive uh, feeling of what you want to build. If you have, like, Flood and... I don't even know what the combo is. Honestly. <laughs> There's probably no combo. I I don't know. Someone was saying someone was saying, was saying there was a combo. I don't think there's a combo. Yeah, getting lands is obviously a good idea, but all right, let's just try this. I guess flood omniscience. Oh, you, you know omniscience too. Flood omniscience and Tamio. So all you need to do is have a, a planeswalker, a ten mana enchantment, a six mana sorcery, and three other permanents, and then you can go off. Uh, I guess we're keeping. Jay, six month resub. Welcome back. I like it. I like it. Wish Manamorphos would have went too, but like that bridge ban. How's everyone thinking? 
What are everyone's thoughts on the bridge ban? Keep or mulligan? Bull Keep or mulligan? Bridge from below ban. Keep mulligan, chat. Play Lana or Elf. Yeah, let's play it, I guess. I was tempted to play a tap, I just played it on turn two, but. Wow. Alright, cool. Well, uh. I guess we'll just do this after they draw, so they can't play it again next turn. Our hand's pretty bad here, honestly. So they draw, and then their draw step, I guess I could just wait, right? I don't need to do it now. Yeah, whatever. Oh god, we're dead. Countering, like, memory lapsing chain world doesn't really do anything. We should get it next turn. We're not casting. I guess we could cast Tamio theoretically. What's going on? They're pissed off. Why? They're blowing me out. Yeah, I'm not sure what Hogak does now. I mean, like, I'm sure you can still build pretty broken Vengevine Hogak decks. You just can't, like, go infinite anymore. Right. Uh, not a great game. Not a great game. Kind of a risky keep, I guess, in retrospect. Ron, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. I think I am firmly against looting being banned in Modern. I wrote an article about that a while back. Looting should not be banned. Absolutely not. Just ban the stupid free cards, like Manamorphos. Bridge Below falls under that category, too. Stomping Ground? Yeah, we do need lands, so... We have preordain back? No, I don't think having preordain back is a good thing. Alright, so now we can use Aethergust as a, me a memory lapse on a chain roller to try and cast this Cavalier. Turn 4 Cavalier on the play should be pretty good. Alright, this is great. This is actually great. So now we get the Lava Coil, the Steamkin. Oh, but that means we can cast the a cavalier. All right, we're gonna cast the druid with proper mana. First trimester hype. First trimester, six hundred. Thanks to the resub. Should guarantee we have this next turn, and then we can lava coil the steamkin later. Yeah, get out of here. Memory lapse. Tommy from Connecticut. Favorite card, Jamoka the Eternal. Tommy, are you going to be in Worcester? Worcester. That's kind of cool. Cerulean Drake, haven't cast that card yet. Alright, boom boom time. Uh, was it untapped? Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that. I don't know what the cards do. Yeah. Lana Rolves, you did your duty. Alright. Let's play... This isn't, isn't legendary. Play this next turn. Probably want to kill the Steamkin, though. Probably going to coil the Steamkin and play Cerulean Drake. Yikes. Okay, that's bad. 
Oh yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Well, poo. Look at this 5-5. Five, five. You drew a Lancey, it's pretty cool. Alright, so just coil this, play Cerulean Drake, play Tap Lance, there you go. Explanation point deck, my friend. As always. What's up, Jay? Look at that little red shield. A little red shield action. I'm not throw protections back. Don't think it's a very good mechanic. I'm glad they put it on like mostly small hosiery cards. But Yeah. Okay, we are still in not great shape because we just don't have anything else going on. They just have a bunch of stuff. They play a frenzy. We were in pretty big trouble. I'm just gonna play this. We ain't fooling nobody. Uh, we have two five sixes on defense. Does the Drake get in? I don't think so. A lightning strike plus chain whirler could take down Cavalier of Thorns. I guess we get to put a card in the graveyard on top of our deck, which would be Hydroid Crisis. That's pretty good. Omnath. Deal three to something. That's not bad. I can start putting counters on my... No, I can't. It's got Pro Rat. I can't target my own stuff. Lame. I guess you just kill it response, but... Alright, it's not an elemental, duh. Only pick, only pick counters and elementals. So, if I target the, the Chain Whirler here and they have a Lightning Strike, it's not gonna kill it. Maybe I should just kill the Lava Runner. Take the guaranteed kill here. Yeah. Like, they have two cards in hand. Like, what, what could these cards realistically be? They're, they're the lands or, like, a Burn Spell or two? I'm just gonna kill this. Tash, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. C. C. Alright. Now we got two fatty boom batty blockers. Uh. Act with the Drake. They block one. Eh, I'm just saying, go. Yo, deal with it. That's pretty cool. Feel like it doesn't have much, doesn't have, have, enough, have enough payoff. Feel like we're just like putzing around too much, not doing enough. I can't see what those are. Yeah, that's a shock. To the library. Time to get back, Crisis. I like that. Another Cerulean Drake. There's plus two, honestly. It's only two Nissa in my deck. Um. Alright, let's just get back to stupid crisis. There's only three crisis in my deck, so like, I'm on a favorite. I guess I only have, three, I have 33 cards left. But, I'm not a favorite to hit. And I don't think Tamio needs to live. Once we cast the crisis, we're just gonna win, so. New sub is. Oh, 600 of the wheels. 
tail should be discarded. Um, pulling your hair out, trying to make Corpse Knight, Cruel Celebrant, and some combination of three mana cost Chandra, March the Multitudes, Krenko. Win via creatures entering and dying. But I don't know if it's viable. When it goes off, it's amazing. Might put him for a deck tech. Sweet. Sounds good. I'd be happy to do your deck tech. Yeah, I mean, like, you could have maybe attack with a, a Cavalier at some point, but they, they just take five, and they, just, and they, had, they, had, they have good crackback potential, so this, this is fine. We're in, like, pretty good shape now. This up is Alan from Kentucky, playing since Arena Beta. Sweet. Favorite card, Sarah, for the scales. Awesome, Alan. Welcome. Thanks for stopping. Appreciate that. All right. I'm just going to keep playing it. You know what, let's attack with the Cavalier too. I feel pretty safe now. Have I thought of any young Pyromancer Risen Reef decks? Over modern? Ah, that's a little something. I'm gonna block this and shoot the Risen Reef. It's fun. So, pretty much have this game locked up, barring like an insane frenzy turn this turn. Yeah, this is basically game. Let's start here. We're gonna cast everything, attack for a million probably, so. Um, I suppose if I put a card on top, I can draw a Risen Reef, so. Let's just shabang a bang. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 15. Sure. Uh, Phoenix is still good, probably. Everyone's just trying out new cards, and Phoenix didn't really get any new cards. I'll probably try Phoenix at some point this week. Don't forget, folks, I have a really busy month coming up. I'll, I'll post that up uh, after this match. We'll take a look at my Twitter. You're at 7? Sure. Prison Reef. Jace, resub, welcome back. Waka Waka. Waka Waka, indeed. Whatever. Oh, it's just dead. You're dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. We're gonna get our first win here. Look at us. Getting on the board. Uh, Brian Bourne Cutthroat is cool. It's a cool card. Alright, here we go. Tag with everything. Thoughts? Shock my Risen Reef. You got it. You got it. Alright, we're one and two. We're on the board, folks. We're on the board. Uh, made sure a frenzy that game we might have lost, but they didn't, so we won. Um, so, everyone, remember sure, make sure you follow me on Twitter, of course. We had a busy month, folks. Um, I know I've been saying I'm going to be focusing on streaming and not traveling. Yeah, about that. Well, unfortunately, I called up for the Pro Tour, and there's two very local tour, uh, SG Tour events coming up. So the next month is going to be hell. Uh, but I'm still working on the stream behind the scenes. I have a lot of stuff going on. I have an animator, animator hired. I'm working with him. Website's almost done. New computer is in the mail. Uh, new, new computer from Origins. So I'm still working on the stream. And then after the Mythic Championship, we're going to relaunch the stream with all the new stuff. And it's going to be awesome. Donation bonus leagues coming back. Um, new shows. It's going to be great. But this is going to be a pretty crazy month. I have Twitch Rivals uh, on Wednesday. It's an M20 draft tournament. Teams. I'm teaming with Gabriel Nassif, top five player of all time, which is awesome. Thursday is Phantom Legends, uh, new standard, should be a lot of fun. Then, of course, SG Worcester this weekend, new standard. Next weekend will be SG Philly, where I'm teaming with Tannen and Ross, trying to win Tannen a trophy. And then I leave two days later for the Pro Tour, 
Mythic Championship 4 in Barcelona, Spain. I'll be gone for almost a week. So there'll be sporadic streaming this month. And then after the Mythic Championship, I come home. And I think I have one event in the next three months. So we're hitting the stream. We're hitting the content super hard, all right? I know I've been saying it for the last you know, month or two. But I've been working on things behind the scenes. Me and the animator are working on a whole bunch of cool stuff. You're going to love it. Um, it's going to be dope. So No, I, I almost never travel to Magic Fests. I've been traveling a lot less lately. This is kind of like the last hurrah for me before we really uh, put our nose to the grindstone. So follow me on Twitter, of course, for all updates on that and uh, everything else as well, like this. Independence Day, anyone? Happy 4th of July? Alright, let's go. 1 and 2. Also be uh, returning on... Um, whoever's challenge Thursday. Raise your hand in chat. Who remembers challenge Thursday? You probably just gotta keep. I'll just keep. Sure, good draw. Both other colors and a scry. Love it. Love it. So, not a lot of hands in chat. Challenge Thursday was a thing I used to do years ago on my stream. Uh, Challenge Thursday was. That's pretty good. A thing where people would submit challenges to me and I picked the ones I liked and I put them in a poll and you guys all vote whatever the challenge is I got to do it so challenges were things like the binary challenge you can only play cards in modern that cost zero and one um, you must build a deck where your only win condition is villainous wealth um, a lot of fun challenges super super fun uh, I was like one of the funnest parts of the stream honestly uh, but I can't cast on that here. It sucks. So yeah, it's super, super fun, and uh, I'm really excited to have it back. I believe the rebranding, we're going to call it Mission Implausible. What do I cast here? I can cast Tamio. It won't die, probably. I'll be able to cast on that. sucks. Um... I cast Tamiyo on plus. What am I even plusing for? I don't even know. Alright, I'll just cast Risen Reef, I guess. I know, Mission Gym possible. I've heard it. Uh, it's just a little too, a little too cutesy for me. Yeah, so Mission Implausible. It's going to be a lot of fun. You'll all submit challenges to me on, uh, on Twitter. You'll all vote on them. Then I have to build the deck almost on the spot, practically. Alright. So we didn't land. I'm not going to land. We're probably going to lose this game. This is a more aggro version of the Elementals deck? Oh, God. I'm surprised I didn't kill the Leafkin Druid, honestly, because they're so far ahead. Just, like, stunt my mana and beat me, you know? Alright, well we drew the breeding pool. So now we can cast Omnath, and we gotta kill something. We probably wanna kill the Creeping Trailblazer, I think. I should kill the Flyer, seems more important. Let's just kill Flyer. We can gum the ground up pretty good, but Flyers are tough. I feel very behind. Like, Tamiyo feels really off in this deck. This whole Flood of Tears Tamiyo thing is just not really enticing me at all. And this is really bad for us. I haven't seen the more aggro versions of this deck too often. This is pretty good, though. Yeah. Well, we're getting ranched. This game's close. And we're just basically dead. This card just seems so bad. I, I don't. I just don't get it. Like, 
When do we ever cast this card for any value? We just, we just recast everything. They should have six mana in play. You know? Hi, Super Nintendo Charles. Alright. Um, yeah. That kind of sucked. We're going to uh, bring in some lava coils. They're kind of quick. I'm just going to cut the Omniscience and its Hamio. Cut some of the slower cards. I'm cut, oh, this card just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Uh, it's fine. Like, decks are really good at getting a lot of mana into play pretty quickly. So... They can recast everything, you know? Alright, this hand's good. Turn to your Risen Reef. Score to the format, you know? I put any Aristocrats decks? No. Flood of Tears. Yes, please. Risen Reef, no! That's pretty good. You see Lavina seeing play in sideboards against Nissa decks. What does Lavina do again? Just having a 5-6 in play on turn 3 is pretty good. To the library. That sucks, they love a quote, my thingy. Um, hmm. I mean, I want to cast Tamiya. I need Tamiya for like Omrath, Omnath or whatever. I am Tamiya. It is an Let me aid your research. We have skis. We're gonna hold the druid because we uh we uh might draw the risen reef. No, they're not gonna ban risen reef. It's a one one. It's fine. It's a good card. They're not gonna ban risen reef. Rogue Refiner was partially banned for uh a tomb with Aether Sins. They wanted to make sure they really knocked the deck out. They probably could have only banned a tune and been okay. Combo. Honor Guard is good against these decks for sure. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Not gonna lie. So like, is Flood of Tears good yet? It seems okay here. I get to bounce everything and then recast Cavalier. Sure. Do not harm my scrolls. Hydroid Crisis. That is good, but we're trying to recast the. Okay, so we're gonna attack the Chandra. That's yeah, pretty good. All right, let's plus for. Um, Nath, probably. Just a four of it's pretty good. Aha, two Risen Reefs, tilt. I should have named Risen Reef. Clearly. Boulder off, that's a cool one. It's kind of hard, though. So now we have Flood of Tears, but like, they just don't have anything in play. So like, we're not even doing anything profitable here. So we cast Gracious, like. 
they get to Risen Reef again, but they just, they just, do better, they just, they just play a land and do that anyway, so. Yeah, whatever. Your turn. Yeah, I mean, we can bounce Crisis with Flood, or we can just kill them. That's the problem. It's like our board's already good. Like, you know? Well, they only have uh, nine cards in their hand, but, uh, you know. Sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Flood of Tears still doesn't look very good. I could, like, play a, a Leafkin and then Flood of Tears and replay the Cavalier, but, like, again, they can just replay their hand and they've always come into play effects anyway. Alright, let's just start here. I'm just gonna Omnath and kill Risen Reef and play a, a Leafkin Druid. The Omnath, probably. Just playing Boldies, I guess, honestly. I could flood next turn, I'll have a bajillion mana, so. So no lightning strike, they have lava coil, unfortunately, but that's fine. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, we have twelve mana. Say hello to my little friends. This is a significant attack. Oh my god. So we take six and go to eight, and we're returning the Omnath to their hand. Oh, that's pretty good. We'll just do that, I guess. That seems better. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's a eight, eight Hydroid Crisis. It seems pretty good. Um, bridge from below is banned. I'm burnt out.
Bone Stack seems cool. Definitely expect to see a lot of uh, Risen Reef you're playing in Worcester, for sure. I think Risen Reef is definitely one of the easy, easy, obvious pillars of the format. Lightning Stormkin. Lightning Stormkin. Okay. That's a lot of damage out of nowhere. Um, don't kill me, please. Why do they draw a card? Oh, if you control eight or more lands, draw a card. Wow, I didn't even know that text existed. All right, I'm going to block the flyer. I mean, you might be dead here. Wait, no, hold on. This has an ability. Plus almost one for each elemental you control. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to one here. So we're probably going to die to something. That sucks. I got to left back some blockers, maybe. All right. I guess I could have... I, I mean... I guess I was not preparing for them to play double lightning stormkin out of nowhere. So my play seems reasonable. Like But these floods have been really bad. Really, really bad. Alright. I say move on to the next deck. Who wants to open a, a booster back up? Check out bcwsupplies.com. I've been playing BCW Supplies in every tournament for the last four years. Their deck lockers are fantastic. Their, zip, their zipper, zipper folios are fantastic. And the new Elite 2 deck guard sleeve just got a B-plus rating from uh, Tolarian Community College. His only complaint was the shuffle feel. I think they shuffle great. So I don't know. They're, the matte fronts are a little stiffer, but I like that. And then the gloss fronts are a little smoother. But check it out. BCWsupplies.com. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order. BCWsupplies.com. Bangarang. Well, it's almost take through time. We already have Narset, so sweet. All right, so let's move on to a different deck. This deck's kind of poopy. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, look for another deck in a different video and subscribe. I love you.